flyla.co.uk. Your fashion, your choice. Chocobites? Chocobites? Share na kore khao jaya na. Crunchy biscuit e choco chips bharat. Chocobites. Share na kore khao a awesome bhaag. Kal. Okay. Kal back out chicken too. After mega success in Europe, MahiaLondon.com is now in North America. Any clothing, including saris, suits, a bear, nighties, are available with a click. Mahia London offers great value for stylish and high quality clothing, fabulous range of menswear and Islamic products. Prices are low. Don't be slow. It's easy to click and get your order now at MahiaLondon.com. MahiaLondon.com Royal Tiger, not on smart bottle is she original taste are unlimited energy. Royal Tiger. Namaskar. শুভ সন্ধ্যা আপনাদের সবাইকে আমি আবারো ফিরে এলাম আপনাদের মাঝে একটি নতুন রকম প্রোগ্রাম নিয়ে আজকে আমাদের সাথে আছে কোনো ফেমাস পার্সোনালিটি না বা কোনো ফেমাস আর্টিস্ট না কিন্তু খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট দুজন যারা এই পৃথিবীর ফিউচার এরা হলো আমাদের নেক্সট জেনারেশন যারা গড়ে তুলবে এই পৃথিবীটা ওদের মতো আসুন আমি আপনাদের পরিচয় করে দিই আমার দুজন গেস্টের সাথে নুদ্রাত মীর আর সরিনা রাহিম কাজি হাই নুদ্রাত এন্ড সরিনা হাউ আর বোথ অফ ইউ হাই ডুইং ওকে ইয়া রাইট নাও উই আর জাস্ট গোইং টু হ্যাভ আ ফর্মাল ডিসকাশন উইথ एवरीवन টুডে জাস্ট টু নো হোয়াট ইউ থিংক अबाउट দিস ওয়ার্ল্ড দ্যাট ইউ আর ইন রাইট ওকে সরিনা Uh, you are a first year student in secondary school? Yes, I am. Yeah, so you want to talk a little bit about your school about the school that you go to and introduce yourself. Yeah, At the same time, Serena, I think your grandparents are watching this program from Bangladesh. You could like you could say hi to them. Hi. So my name is Serena Serena Kazi and I am a first year student of Dundalk Grammar School. I'm I'm 12 years old and and you have a little brother I think yeah yes I have a little brother called Zayan okay and he's um he's 11 years old at the moment right and yeah and uh, do you uh, play a lot with your you know just just a year difference between the two of you right yeah well two years actually but um i'm turning two years soon, okay so yeah yeah so and uh, there's you know we normally when we have brothers and sisters there's always a sibling rivalry so how how close are you to your brother or do you you know do you have lots of uh, well, interaction well zion he actually has autism special needs okay yeah so it's actually really interesting to play with him and interact with him a lot so we got closer this year though i noticed that okay, we got closer through the years yeah and i and guess we that's because of yeah. Go on. yeah and that must be because of the pandemic being at home together a lot more yeah. than we would be normally yeah yeah for sure okay now do you speak in bangla at all at home serena Sometimes it just comes fluently to me and sometimes we're just going I speak English but mixed it's more mixed yeah it's more mixed okay yeah right. Nudrat you are in second year in secondary school I think Yes I am Yeah do you like to tell us a little bit about yourself you can speak in Bengali or English whichever language you're comfortable in okay Um yeah um so I'm Nudrat Mir and I'm 13 years old and 
I'm from Bangladesh, uh, but I am currently living in Ireland. Um, so I go to Loretta Thorts College, uh, and I'm in second year, like Auntie said. Um, and my school is a Catholic school where um, it's full of like diff like it's a super good school, and I feel like my culture is being appreciated there, and that is one reason I chose my school. And uh, yeah, and I live here uh, with my parents and I'm an only child, so yeah. Yeah, so now this year has been difficult and uh, different for all of us because of the pandemic, yeah. So, Nucha, tumar ki, ki bhabe a pandemic ta tumar life e kono effect kore che? Kono different than it e tumar life e? Um, hey, like I'll say, like everyone else, shop our life a money a corona pandemic that positive and negative, like both, like effect as well. But in my life, I would say it brought a very positive vibe because, um, since I came from Bangladesh, um, I didn't get to spend time with my family much because of school and everything, but. During the pandemic, I feel like I got so much closer with them and my friends. Like we couldn't meet outside and all, but it changed for the good outside. I got closer with them, and then also, but like education part, only like coaching school because I'm a teacher. There's some classes here. Come, have a communicate with them. But them, I can't even have a quarter job. Chilo na, many time schedule and all. Everything was a bit you know messed up but now um like they know what the whole pandemic thing is like so it's much better now okay so you've got used to the new norm the new yeah. way right and uh, serena mom um, what about you serena how do you uh, you know i know it you know it's difficult we have all adjusted to this so what were the difficulties that you faced and what what new new things have you learned during this pandemic? Because a lot of us have taken up new skills, have developed new uh, new talents. So, have you done any of those things during this pandemic? Well, during this pandemic, I realized that that your life can really change so easily because this virus really changed all of our lives. And yeah, I I did get a new passion for art during the pandemic, and I was reading books a lot. And I guess I was on electronics a lot, but you know, the good thing, I, I was reading books more and I, I found an, a really good passion for art during the pandemic. Okay, that's good. And do you think uh, you got to spend a lot more time with, I mean, this is for both of you, do, you got to spend a lot more time that you would have spent with your family in normal times, right? Like say if you it was all normal, you would be going to school in the morning, coming back in the evening you know not having to see your parents that much but right now i think you're spending 24 hours you know in the house yeah. with them so that has been good in many ways don't you think yeah i do you're really good yeah and it's good for them as well because, yeah good for them because they are also getting to know you and what you think yeah how you think about things uh don't you think that yeah. that's that's one of the positives of this this pandemic right yeah, yeah so uh, Nutrat, you are in second year which means you will be getting ready for your junior set next year right mm -hmm. so uh what subjects do you like what are your favorite subjects well um for my majors like you get to choose some optional subjects um, and I chose business, science, tech, graphics, and Spanish for mine. And I like didn't have like I didn't know what the subjects were like. But like as I studied them more now, I think science has to be one of my favorite subjects because everything is just so like unique. There's so much to know, and then even about yourself like your human body like you wouldn't know so many things but as you keep learning it's just so many variety of things right so so you have a passion for science you think you are more akin to science than you are to the arts yeah yeah and 
and what, what would you like to become? I mean, do you have a few, you know, what's your ambition? Well, you see, um, I don't know what the future holds for me, but first of all, I'm aiming or like my goal is to get a very good result for my junior cert exam and my leaving cert exam because those two results like from those exams will determine like what my future like career holds and all what subjects I can choose. So, but like I will try my best to get my best scores in business, science and tech graphics because I would love to become an architecture or have my own business someday. So, you know, if Very good. in my life. Okay. okay. So, so you have an interest in architecture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And Serena, what about you? What, what subjects? I mean, I know you like Spanish uh, and I know you like art, but other than these two subjects, what, what subjects do you enjoy in school? Well, I do ICT as well. I used to actually do tech graphics, but I switched because I didn't find it as enjoyable. But then I switched to ICT, which is computer stuff. And mm -hmm. I really found a big interest in that as well because it was really interesting to um, learn about computers and to learn about the apps and everything. If you know what I mean then. So, so you like to know a lot about the computer yeah computer yeah okay that's good that's interesting and well you know that's one of the in things now uh in, in the present day i think you know having to know about yeah. computers is very important every day we are using it in so many and during the pandemic i think it's become a uh, a normal part of our lives where we are working from home so we are having to use the computer see i'm talking to you we are doing this show everything through the computer so yes it's a very very important part of our lives now definitely yeah. yeah now both of you seem to have the same interest in sports like badminton i see is very common amongst Nutjak and Sophia. yeah so Nutjak, uh but you also play volleyball and basketball i see yeah yeah so which do you which do you think you're more skilled at volleyball basketball or badminton well, you see, before secondary school, um, my dad used to play badminton with some of his friends. And like, I'd say my inspiration struck from there to play badminton. So I started okay. playing with him and then I would say got kind of skilled. And also in Bangladesh in winter days, like I'd say everyone used to play badminton together. So since then with my cousin, like I used to play with them. And then here in Ireland, so I'd say probably badminton. Okay, badminton. And are you in any school team for badminton or volleyball or basketball? Do you play uh, basketball here in, in Ireland? Yeah, both basketball, badminton and uh, volleyball. I mean, and, badminton, volleyball and basketball. And, and you play this in school here? Yeah, in teams. Okay, fine. And do, do you represent your school in any inter-school sports for any of these uh, games? Yeah, I do. Well, unfortunately for basketball, my team didn't qualify to the nationals. But for volleyball, the girls volleyball team, we uh, managed to go for the nationals. And we were supposed to play against uh, Finians, I think. And like because of pandemic, everything got crushed. But hopefully this summer, if things get better, we'll be competing against them from like as a school team. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed that things will be better this summer and we'll all be able to engage in all our sports uh, activities outside. And Serena, you too, I see, like to play badminton. Yeah, I do. I love badminton. Okay, and you represent your school as well. You play for the Dundalk team. Yes, I do. You do. Okay, I, so you I play... play for how long? For four years, I've been playing badminton. Okay, and you've become pretty good at it because I. Uh, do you also play badminton in your school team? Your school um, has no, a badminton team. Our school, we do have a badminton team, but it's only for boys, sadly. Oh, okay, that's hmm. all right. So they don't allow the girls to play. Okay, no. right. No, so you play outside school. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, other than school, what other things do you do, Nodrat? You know, other than your school, actually outside school, what are the things that interest you? Well, um, I have like my most top three hobbies would be dancing, singing, and art. Um, like since I was a child, dancing and singing has been like one of my uh, like best leisure time activity. Like my mom said, when I was a kid, I used to always like, you know, be playing with the songs and all and copy the dancers I used to see on TVs and all. And she uh, told me like to put me in Bafa, the dance academy, dancing and singing academy in Bangladesh. And from there, I started to pick up on dancing and singing very well. And I, um, you know, took it further and started to have my personal training and all. So I'll say that would be one of my biggest time, like other activity outside, like school activities, you know, um, and I like perform in different places, which is like, you know, the best feeling ever. And for art would, art would be like my free time thing when I'm like bored or something, or, you know, uh, when I don't have any homework, I'd probably do an artwork just to like, you know, have, like get some time for myself and then draw what I can imagine would be nice. Okay. And another interesting thing I see about you at your age, you're so young, you like political studies. Um, yeah. The thing that, is, I found um, that very interesting. Uh, what sort of politics are you interested in? I mean, that is really something that struck me, you know? Well, you see it, not something that's like very popular among us teenagers but um in school when we do CFT one day um, my teacher like when i was in first year she brought up this topic about politics about irish politics and then um you know like donald trump and obama like presidents and all and everyone seemed very bored about it but somehow i found it very interesting and all and then she was also talking about some stuff like um like you know racism and all and then different cultures and then islamophobia and all so i i feel like those kind of things that you know people don't really talk about and then also it kind of relates with politics those really interest me so i do my own research on them like during free time like if i have any time and all like i would like to educate myself about those no, oh, that's very good. Yeah, that's one thing. That was a very uh, unique uh, interest I found that you wrote about yourself uh, for, for the fact that you're such a young person and having such an interest in politics at this age, you know, uh, it was a unique thing for me. So I thought I'd, I'd ask you about that. Um, Serena loves to travel. Serena, you love traveling? Uh, yeah, I actually do. It's, I love going around. And walking as well yeah and have you been to have you visited many countries serena uh quite a few we went to we went to france and disneyland for my birthday my 10th birthday and ah, very good we've been to a lot of other countries as well we've been to london other few as well Okay. And when you go traveling, Serena, do you like to go and look at the historical sites or do you like to go shopping? Which one? Um, I probably prefer shopping. It's more... All right. So you enjoy the shopping part of it more than uh, going and looking at all the sites. Yeah? Yeah, probably. Okay. That's great. Okay. Now... Nodrat, you play the harmonium. I mean, you've got so many things, you know, oh my God, the list goes on and on and on. You play the harmonium and the keyboard as well. So did yeah. you pick this up at Bafa or did, uh, or did you pick it up on your own? Well, so like I said, when I was in Bafa, um, the teacher said, like my, uh, uh, like song teacher, he was like, Nodrat, you are like, very good for such a like young for like such a young age and so he suggested that i get a personal trainer like at home 
So I had my teacher and he said, maybe I think like you should start picking up one like harmonium. I think you'll be good at it. So it was a very sudden decision. I was like around eight that time and I started playing the harmonium and <laughs> very surprisingly, I did caught up on it very quick. And then I started like doing my own songs, like, you know, uh, harmonium but I found like keyboard or like piano, like those were very similar to harmonium, but Tomar do have you about the house. So I mean keyboard and harmonium but I'm also trying to use both of my hands, like you know, just upgrading my skills and yeah. Yeah, that's good. And well, all this is interest and, you know, art is something that needs to be practiced all the time. It doesn't matter what kind of art it is, whether it's performing arts or just drawing, sketching, painting. Uh, I think practice makes perfect, right? So uh, the more you do, the more you learn, uh, and then the more new things you can create, I think. Yeah, where that is concerned, right. Serena, do you have any opinion on, you know, people talk, especially students of your age in school, they are into uh, the environment a lot. So do you have any opinions on the environment, our environment today? Climate change, um, you know, things like that. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't really pay attention to the envir environment that much. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard the green schools and all that stuff. I've I've joined the green schools in my school recently, but it's being cancelled due to school closing again because of the pandemic. But otherwise, I don't pay much attention to the environment. But uh, do you think we should pay much attention to the environment? I think we should, yeah. We should, okay, right. And what's your opinion, Nudrat, on this? Well, you see, um, um, when like we are still young, like all generations, but when like even in school, when there's like certain topics about environment and all, teachers do bring up like some negative side effects, like you know what hap what happened like a few days ago in uh, Australia, the range forest fire, bush fire. Yeah. Those things like really strike us up, like like I'm just gonna say like our class. We were very like shocked about it and we were like, we got to take a step because at the end of the day, like our future is like our future. So we got to do something. So we started the green school policy and we are going to take it a bit further when school reopens and our teachers are work working on it as well. And we're trying to build a website to, you know, promote this and all. And uh, what sort of activities have you all uh, I mean, what are the type of activities that your green school do? do? Like uh, where I live in my area, Swords, there, there's, it's actually a very clean society, but there are like some rubbish, uh, like on the street and all. We're thinking of like getting more posters and sticking them around the park and all so that people clean after their dogs and all and then pick up their rubbish and then the shops around like those areas use a uh, brown bags instead of plastic bags and i feel like okay. that can influence more areas like around us so yeah okay it's a small impact. that's good yeah small of course anything small uh, towards a positive change is always good and serena what does your green school do i mean what have you since joining the school have you participated in any of the activities well there's been a lot of art competitions for the green schools which i have participated in but usually okay. back in primary school in first year i haven't seen much to do with the green schools except we've had these new bins where they've set up everything and they have to, they set up all everything you put so all the plastic will go on one side and all the waste will go on another side okay right Notra, you trained in dance from Bafa, which is the Bangladesh Academy of Fine Arts, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Did you train in any specific form of dance or was it just learning dance uh, to songs? Well, you see, since 
um, I was only, uh, I think, like around five when I joined BAFA. I was really young and they wouldn't take anyone under 12 in courses because it would be a bit hard for them. Like they would teach mudras and all like it would be like a beginner step. And then slowly, like we would do some songs like Chara songs and all. And then also it's like the same for singing. We would like stretch our vocals first and all. And then we would get to like small songs and then Saragama and all. But later on when I was around 10, like I said, I had personal trainers like at home, my teachers. Thanks to them, I can like sing so any songs now. I can pick up very easily if, um, you know, I get them from YouTube or something like I hear them and then karaoke like you know those kind of stuff but since i was really young i could not pick up on a particular course but i am hopeful i'll find like new courses here in ireland of course towards singing or towards dancing which one towards both to be honest but also for singing like uh, there's like choir classes in my school extra ones yes. like after school ones which i'm planning to take on but since I'm also in secondary school, like there's a lot of studying and all, and my junior starts next year. So, you know. Yes. Uh, yeah, of course, I understand. Yeah, because any any form of art uh, that you want to train in is needs a lot of dedication and time for you to perfect, perfect the art. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and uh, Serena, I know that uh, you are not into singing. You, you can dance. If you're taught i heard yes. that you you do dance well yeah but you never really had the chance to train formally in this art form uh so whatever you pick up your mommy te teaches you right yeah yeah but you enjoy dance you like to dance yeah i do you do and do you think and are you able to choreograph yourself or you need somebody to teach you well I could be, but I'd probably need my mom to help me. Okay, right. So you're not one of those who looks at the YouTube and picks up dancers and choreographs the dancers. You're not one of those. Because a lot of the teenagers nowadays, I see, you know, all the Bollywood dancers and things, they just pick it up from YouTube. So you're, you're not one of those. No, I'd rather just have it with my mom. Okay, right. Yeah. But I hear you're a very good artist. Yeah, so do you do... What sort of art do you do? Painting, crayon, sketching? Because there's people have different interests and in different forms of artwork. So what's your interest? Well, my most favorite um, art is probably sketching because I love sketching a lot. I love shading in and I love um, highlighting stuff with pencils, different shades of pencils. And I okay. also do a bit of painting as well. You also do a bit of bit of painting as well okay but what yes. you really like is just sketching and shading in with pencils yes yeah so in uh, and is art one of your subjects that you would like to take for the junior set and for the leaving set yes it is yeah okay now and you like spanish you love spanish don't you yeah i do spanish is one of my favorite subjects and and you speak it fluently um, no, I've only been doing it for five months. Okay, but you enjoy it. And uh, when you learn these second languages in school, I mean, the question is for both of you, both of you go to school here. Do you get a chance to speak the language in school or just, just learn what they're teaching you, you know, the grammar part and things like that? You get a chance to really speak, learn how to speak the language. Um, well, you see, I chose Spanish because like in secondary school, when you go into first year, you're allowed to pick between three languages and I chose Spanish as well. Um, and like while we were learning Spanish in first year, we had this program on like, you know, us teenagers, we do have a lot of questions about why are we doing this? Why do we get homework for Spanish? It's not like we speak Spanish in Ireland and all. So our teachers, like what our teachers said and what I think also, like Spanish, it, it's a language, like it's a fun language and it's good to know like a language other than what you speak normally. 
So that and also by 2050, like she said, it said like a lot of people will be speaking Spanish and probably this skill, like me speaking Spanish might come like, you know, handy then. And then also a lot of countries speak Spanish as well. So maybe if I go there for like a study course or something, I could use Spanish as like a very handy skill. Okay, so in your, in your Spanish class, Serena, do you is it compulsory that you only speak that language at that time? Does the teacher make it mandatory well, we that you speak English with our teachers? Okay, fine. All right. So, and uh, Serena, you, you have family in Bangladesh, right? Uh, so, do you go back to Bangladesh often? Um. Yeah, my dad would go once a year, and one time I did went go with him, but due to coronavirus, I can't see them anymore until it's over. Yeah, yeah. Of course, this this last year has been the same for all of us. We haven't been able to see our family back home. Uh, yeah, and uh, and you like Bangladesh? You like going back to Bangladesh? You have a good time when you go there? Yeah, it's great fun. You know, seeing my cousins and all, and it's it's honestly. It's just so much fun to talk to them and see how it's going because it's so different there, you know, school and everything. It's such a different system. It's so interesting just to know about it all. Yes, of course, definitely. Um, now, you know, when you go to school here, when you started school, see, we, we come from a different culture, right? Our, our cultural background is so different from the, from the Irish. So did you have any difficulties integrating in school with, with the Irish students? Well, no, because I was born here, so I was born more into the Irish culture, so I kind of fit it in way more easily. Way more easily. Whereas, Nudrat, how did you fare in this situation? Because you came in at an older age, so where you were already used to a culture back home in Bangladesh, and then you came into a new culture here in Ireland. So did you have any difficulties fitting into the environment or into the society? Well, you see, of course, when I was in Bangladesh and I heard I was moving into Ireland, I was obviously nervous and it was nerve wracking, honestly. And it was like, it's a whole different country. It's a new culture and their accent. Oh my God. It's probably one of the hardest accents to understand. Like I was so shocked when I first came here. I was like, oh my God, the accent is so different, like much different than I thought. But thankfully, since I was uh, in an English medium school, I was in Methodist English medium school in Bangladesh. Um, it was, we used to speak English all the time there. And like here in Ireland, you'd speak Spanish, like that's the only different language. In Bangladesh, in my school, it would be like, you always speak English and Bangla would be like an, like an optional language subject. It would be like that. So I was very fluent in English, thankfully. And when I came to Ireland, my accent was the only thing that was a bit dodgy. Um, so it was a bit hard for me to pick up on their accent. Um, but they, my friends and teachers, they were extremely supportive and they were so nice about it. It really helped me to like quickly catch on with them. And since in like primary school, there isn't much uh, studying and all, uh, it really gave me more time to get like, you know, comfortable with my friends and their language, their culture, and yeah, but you also see like if it wasn't me and it was someone else who probably like didn't speak English in Bangladesh or didn't have it as a very like, you know, common language there, it might be hard for them here. But I would say if you like want to do what's the best for you, I think you need to work on it like I did. I put a lot of effort in trying to catch on with the accent and all i really put myself out there with people like talking with them and all so yeah i'm very thankful that i got to catch on it pretty quickly so. okay that's great and uh i hear you know lots of people face bullying in school did any of you face any kind of bullying in school at all no no that's good uh nudrat you too no not at all well, for me, I didn't face bullying, particularly not at all, but I have seen like people like me who came into my school since it was a like a mixed school. 
people i did see people getting a bit joshed here but that is i'd say completely normal like i'm coming from a whole different country and maybe my english isn't good and all but that doesn't mean someone can judge me but also like if i am different people will see me differently but they shouldn't treat me differently and here i haven't seen much of that but yeah i have seen other people get in a bit like you know slightly bullied and all but they got adjusted very quickly as well but and like if you have your friends and teachers support here and your family support you can get to all of them very like quickly i'd say but yeah there are some hardships in the beginning okay that's that's good so actually uh, both of you have had sort of a very smooth sailing school life here no problems at all you have lots of friends irish friends yeah and uh, serena of course you, you know you are a little different because you were born here so you sort of uh, yeah. you were born into the culture here yeah so it was a lot easier for you but the nudra as well had really no problems because you found that your teachers and the school itself was so good that you really didn't have any problems at all yeah okay uh serena would you like to show us because i know you're a great artist would you like to show us some of your artwork and talk about them please? all right i did this one here um a few years ago I don't have the date here, but I was about nine when I did this one, mm -hmm. back when I did art classes. Yeah. It lamp posted a curtain. It's one of my shading ones, which I really enjoyed doing because I love shading. I wasn't as good at shading back then because I was only nine. Um, I did it with my art teacher. I used to do art Very. classes, but because of the virus, I couldn't do art classes anymore. So I have that one. Nice. Yeah. And then I have this fruit bowl I did. Very well nice, Serena. And, and is it crayon painting? Is, is, is this crayon? Pastels. Oil pastels, it's okay, right. And I have this one, it's a recent sketch I did. Okay, did very nice. That's just pencil shading, I guess. Yes, yeah, it's pencil shading. And I did it two days ago, actually. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And what's that about? Is that just it's some just, place near? It's not really any place. It's more my imagination. I was like, I got oh. bored. I decided. So it's I that's a huge big tree there. Is that a lake or something near the tree? Or is it a park? Yes, that's a lake. It's a lake. Lake, okay. Okay. And there's bushes around yeah. it. And then that's the sun and the tree. And then... I did this one about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And that's and painting? Yes, it's acrylic painting. Ah, acrylic painting. One yeah. of my favorite ones. Very nice. So I, I love the bright background you've given it. Uh, now, I hope I'm seeing the right color on the camera. Is it orange or, yeah. or red? Um, it's, it's a mix of both colors, actually. Okay. So it's orange and red. Right. And we have the very nice flowers. Okay. And then I have these canvas ones as well. This is on a canvas. Ah, okay. I was nine when nine? I did this one as well. Oh, only nine, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it was one of my first ones actually. I think it was my second ever painting I did. Very nice, Serena. You're and then, very good. <laughs> thank you. And um, here's my last one I have. It's this one. I was also nine. Okay, so you did most of your uh, paintings uh, you know, when you were nine. Was that the age that you really got interested and started doing art? Yeah, it's when I was doing art classes. So okay. around then. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, Nutra, besides dancing, uh, now, it was uh, really sorry that we couldn't have your video of your dance today. But besides dancing, you are an accomplished singer. Uh, and I think today you're going to uh, 
perform two songs for us, right? So would you like to sing one of the songs, whichever one you want to sing? Uh, and tell us a little bit about the song, if you can, before you sing it. Um, yeah, but like, first of all, I'd like to say I'm sorry. It's probably not the best um, because Usually it was a very like sudden decision of me doing two dances since Auntie said like one of my dances got cancelled so I wasn't really prepared and also it was snowing this morning here in Ireland so you know I'm like I have a little of a sore throat so I'm, I apologize if it wasn't my best but I'll give it a try. Um, so first of all I'm doing uh, this uh, song it's called Ekti Bangladesh. Um, it's a like this is the Bodok song. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be saying a few lines of it. So yeah. Ekti Bangladesh, to me Jagruto Janota, Sharabichi, Sherebi Shai, to me Amar of Hunkar, to Marishadi Nota, Go Robo Shurabe, Enethe Amar Prani, Shuraje, Rotri, Roshati Bata, Tishona Lishu Kiji Bonnet, Drip Tongi Kar, Sharabi Sherebi Shai, to me Amar of Hunkar, Ekti Bangladesh. To me, Jagro to Jonota, Sharabi Sherebi Shai, to me, Amar of Hunkar, to Marit Hyat Haka, Rotri Roprantore, Dieti Otto Lamor Borne Muk, Dirisli Homaka, to Marit Hyat Haka, Rotri Roprantore. Dieti otto l'amor borne mukti riste homaka. Geneti tu mi di bone morone bimu good hotitona. Sharabi shiri bi shai tu mi amar o hunkar. Ikti bangladesh tu mi jagru tu jonota. Sharabi shiri bi shai tu mi amar o hunkar. Ekti Bangladesh, to me jagru to Januta, Sharabi Sheribi Shai, to me Amar Ahunkar. Thank you. You have a wonderful voice. Nudrat, it's really, really beautiful. Uh, and I think you sang very well. Uh, I actually thought you were going to play the keyboard along with your singing. Uh, but still, without the keyboards, it was great. Very well done, very well done, very well done. Right, uh, Serena, I know you are a poet, you write poetry, yes? yes? So I'd like you to read one or two of your poems that you've written uh, for us. Could you do that? Yes, I have one poem from a poem competition I won in Navin. It was when I was in fourth class, so I was around 10 when I made this poem. And it's in this book, it was published in this book here. Oh, okay. After My we, God. Yes. Okay. So originally it's about war and how cruel the world is, but then how we can make it better and how we need to make it better. I remember my parents talking about it and I was thinking, I was thinking about how sad it is really, and we need to make the world a better place. So when this competition came up in our school, I decided why not enter it? So here it is. Mine's the bottom okay. one right here. The gray right. one. Yeah. I drew the picture as well. Oh, okay, that's nice. So we, yeah. you were sort of drew the picture explaining the poetry that you've written yeah okay the team was very on. nice yeah so will you read your poem for us please of course my world by serena kazi my world is full of danger so let's try to keep it safe to make it happier and bright to make it a better place let's all work together to bring joy and peace so we can put all these wars and fights 
to cease. Think about your world, family and friends, so we can put all this danger to an end. That's it. Very, very well written. And this was when you were, how old were you when you wrote this? I was around 10, I think. Very, very well written. And do you have any points that you wrote after that? I do. I don't have it with me now, but I, I do have some poems I have written. Okay. And how did you get interested in poetry writing, Serena? It honestly started from this poem here. And it just, I realized how fun it was to write poems and I decided to do some more. Okay, that's good. Now, another thing that both of you have in common is drama. Both of you love drama. Uh, and I think Serena uh, has had the chance to be a part of certain productions. Have you as well, Nudrat? Have you also been a part of any production here? Well, um, the show Hamilton, like my teacher, uh, she, my English teacher, she is a like a drama specialist, like she does dramas and all. And we were just like playing, doing like a play of Julius Caesar in our school. And she said, oh my God, Nubra, you're actually really good at it. So she said after like the pandemic is over, they're doing um, a show called Hamilton, like a play. Um, so she said I could like do a part in it because she said I was really good at it so I never thought that drama would be a, like my thing because I, I I do tend to get shy doing drama and all but yeah that is something a new like you know a new hobby of mine but yeah and Serena you you're very good at that as well you were the evil queen in Snow White were you yes I was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves I was also in a play called The Green Children in the On Tame Theater. Okay. And you enjoy doing, yeah, and you enjoy doing drama? Yes, I do. I love it. It's great fun for me. Yes, it is. Don't you think? Oh, I love it as well. I do. I do. I love drama. I love dance. So a lot of things in common with, with the uh, uh, two of you, uh, you know, and it's, been really great chatting to the two of you. Now, um, Nutrat, you have one Robindra Shongi that you would be singing for us, and I'm waiting to hear that. So, can we have you sing that for us, please? Uh, yeah, of course. And like I said, I'm sorry if it's not my best work, but I will give it my best shot. <laughs> Maya bono bihari ni hori ni Gaho no shapo no shanchari ni Keno tare dhori bare kori pon Akarun maya bono bihari ni Thak ni ju mone dhore te Ami should have a shore in a shore. Tank, tank, and Chamo ki be bhagune ro pavone Boshi be akasho bani srobone Chamo ki be bhagune ro pavone Chito akolo habe onu khan akaron Dur hote ami tare shadhe bo Gopano be no hodo दूर होते आमी तारे शादे बो गोपनो बेरो हो डोरे बाधे बो बाधुन नकारुन माया बोनो बिहारी नी 
माया बोलो बिहारिनी हरिणी गहन सपन संचारिणी कैन तारे धरे बारे करीपन अकारण माया बोलो बिहारिणी very well done beautiful singing really enjoyed that did you enjoy that serena wasn't she great really and i'm good. sure all our viewers enjoyed it as well you know really nice now serena you love to read books what sort of books do you read serena is there any sort of well, you know, like look some yeah well, I love um, books with adventure and a story and fantasy. I really love fantasy, like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, which I'm reading at the moment, the Lord of the Rings series. Yeah. Okay. So I'm so on you, that. Yeah. You like adventure. Okay. Very good. And do you yeah. have, just like you write poetry, do you have a knack for writing as well, like writing stories or, or things like that? Well, once in a while, I will write a story or two. Usually in school, when we're watching a movie, sometimes I'll I'll just take a book out and watch and like write a story okay. for myself. You good. Know? Very good. Now, you both have been really wonderful guests. I've enjoyed chatting with the both of you. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed chatting with me uh, do you have anything to ask me before you, before we end the program anything you want to ask um yeah um auntie i uh, know that we both share like a similar interest of dancing yeah yes like i said um i was a kid and then i loved singing and dancing when i watched it on tv like as to dance with them that's where my inspiration strike but you like dancing is a passion of yours so i want to know where like your inspiration right like where well just like you when i was my parents tell me when i was very young you know if i hear any music it just has to be any kind of music i'd be moving my body to the music rhythmically and so my parents thought the best thing to do was to put me in dance school so i actually started learning dance at the age of four I was four and a half when I went to classical dance school. So I trained in two classical forms, in uh, Bharat Natyam and in Odissi, okay? And I've always been passionate about dance. I still am. I have a school here. I teach dance and I do lots of shows. So since both of you love dancing, I will bear in mind that for my next production, I'll have the both of you with me. And I'd love to teach you both, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us and making this program such a wonderful show, talk show. And I'm sure our viewers enjoyed listening to the both of you and seeing the wonderful talent that both of you have, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I'm going to end the show here for this evening. Okay. Once again, thank you very much. Amracholi Eshti. আমরা চলে এসেছি আমাদের আজকের প্রোগ্রামের শেষ পর্যায়ে ধন্যবাদ জানাই নুজরাত সারিনাকে যারা আমার এই প্রোগ্রামটা সফল করেছে আমাদের সব দর্শকদেরকেও ধন্যবাদ জানাই আমাদের সাথে থাকার জন্য আর আমাদেরকে সাপোর্ট করার জন্য থ্যাংকস টু মিস্টার খুসরুল আলাম অ্যান্ড ডক্টর মুসাবির হোসেন যাদের জন্য আমাদের পসিবল হয়েছে এরকম প্রোগ্রাম করতে এভরি উইক Channel 19 in Matome. Thank you so much and good night. Aliflyla.co.uk. Your fashion, your choice. Chocobites. Chocobites. Share na kore khao jayana. Crunchy biscuit e choco chips bharat. Chocobites. Share na kore khao a asham bhaab. Kal. Okay. Kal dekhao chicken tu. After mega success in Europe, MahirLondon.com is now in North America. Any clothing including saris, suits, abaya, nighties are available with a click. Mahir London offers great value for stylish and high quality clothing. Fabulous range of menswear and Islamic products. Prices are low. Don't be slow. 
It's easy to click and get your order now at mahirlondon.com. Mahirlondon.com. Royal Tiger. Not on smart bottle is she original taste, our unlimited energy. Royal Tiger.